Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode on the DocoCraft server. Today, I'm actually finished. We filled this part in on a large stream and this last part over here as well. And uh, yeah, we, we all finished actually, so I'm really happy with that. And now we can actually start making the... TNT duplicator flying machine digger thing. So I did go in my redstone testing world and I designed something that does work. Um, and I'm not gonna show it. So now we are in my redstone testing world, my villager thing, my Venture breeder and this flying machine and I tested it with these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 flying machines and it works perfectly um, and of course the other ones yeah needs to go as well so we do need this large amount of flying machines uh, but I I did the calculations and I found out that we need this. Uh, at furnace I am now using uh, obsidian, but yeah, it's just an unmovable block. Uh, and we need three stacks of slime blocks. So yeah, that that's a lot. And it's expensive because we only need, uh, we also need sticky pistons. And we do have to buy it from Rainbow Sheep because yeah, we don't have a slime farm. But yeah, this is how it works. Uh, it's pretty loud, but it does work perfectly. And of course, this is in a normal world much, um, uh, much more down. And because this is iron blocks, it has a stronger durability or break or blast resistance than uh, stone or dirt. Um, but yeah, this this is how it works. But, yeah, now I do have to make this in survival. And, well, that's a little bit harder. And, especially, because uh, Rainbow Sheep is out of slime balls. Uh, he's currently um, fixing his slime farm and going AFK to get more slimes. Uh, and I hope I can um, buy it maybe tomorrow for for me so that's yeah where we are gonna wait for but of course we needed more material so we can do that right now okay so now i got this i got the redstone dust the furnaces the repeaters the observers the redstone torches which we don't actually need but i i just did it in here uh, some extra redstone blocks uh, and the trapdoors and we do need one and a half um, stacks of slime blocks and almost a full uh, stack of slime balls um, yeah so so we do still still need a lot but we we have the most and I also got a lot of stuff over here um almost all of the sticky pistons already and I, I do actually have some slime blocks over here uh we can just take them okay so yeah that's uh, all we are having right now and yeah i um I think we are going to make some more stuff. Today is actually the day that the health games are starting. It didn't start yet because it's starting at 4 p.m. 
uh, at my time. Um, and it's now 3 p.m. I think. Uh, so it's starting uh, in in an hour, something like that. So uh, we are pretty close, and I want to check if there are more people that signed up because I'm kind of curious. So this is the design I'm gonna use. Over there is my AFK spot, uh, and over here is the farm itself. Um, and I'm working with fall damage, I think that works the best. Uh, over here is just an NHS choker box with my gear and sword and that kind of stuff. And a bed for my respawn, if for some reason something goes wrong. Um, yeah, over here, this is the clock, you can put this up. Oh, wait. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can put this clock off, uh, and I am a spectator now because uh, I don't want any witches to spawn right now. Um, but essentially, this farm, get this redstone gets an update through this, uh, which updated all of the rails. And that updates all of it, so if someone stands over here, it just uh, flicks you with the soul sand and you drop down and fall to your death over here. Over here you got this setup, a hopper clock with some observers, so it pushes uh, all of it with uh, dispensers up. And then with some water over here in the sorting system. And of the rest, the, like the bottles, goes in here into the lava. Um, but as I said, I was AFKing uh, for 30 minutes, and I got this: two stacks of almost everything, and the sticks are even more. So that's pretty good. And yeah, I'm uh, I'm very happy with this. So, okay, so now we can just go back over here, so, and now you should see some witches, yeah, there they already come, and this is just, for a witch farm, this is pretty fast. Uh, why is it not? Oh, yeah, there it goes. Normally it goes a little bit faster even. But, um, yeah, this is pretty fast and uh, it works really good. So this is what I'm gonna make the um, in a few episodes. Of course, I first have to clear all of the lands over here. So there are no caves I have to light up and that stuff. But as you can see, it's going pretty well. And it should be like one witch in two seconds. Um, something like that. So, um, yeah. It, um, it does work pretty good. Okay, so Rainbow Sheep is now signing in. There he is. Um, and well the rest of the people are still coming and there are many kids in here but i think i'm gonna wait some more days before it's gonna start um so i'm gonna grab a paper maybe i do have no i don't think i do oh wait i do have a book over here yeah i can rename this one so uh, head game starting uh, five days, I think. Yeah, five days might be good. I just made the bookshop in the shopping mall, and I'm now going to get some books. I did some trading with the farmers over there. 
and as I said it is the emerald factory because I do have a lot of them um, and I got some books I don't have a lot of books uh, so I have to oh wait we can buy books right oh no you can you can only sell uh, wait we, we can uh, buy books kind of because we can buy bookshelves and then we can um, break them and get books okay so that's what I'm gonna do get some more but I'm now gonna trade them uh, a, a, just a few of them um, uh, okay let's go over there first I think well, now I'm at the head games and the shopping district. So let's see the first um, clue. Because, yeah, I'm uh, excited. Okay, so this character hunt has officially started. Each day there will be a new clue. Don't help each other. Remember, there is only one prize. You will know when you are at the correct place. Send me a screenshot on Discord when you find it. So you have to be at a place. Okay. Your first clue. Most every day you step on me. All I require is a bend of your knee. Good luck. Okay, first of all, please help me in the comments. Uh, and second of all, Most every day you step on me, like grass. I'm 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 walking on it. I'm stepping, like something like that, or a horse maybe. Hmm. No, I I don't think it is a horse. And then all I require is a bend of your knee. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. One hint. Oh. Man, it's hard. <laughs> um oh wait, 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 wait. You step on me. A bend over your knee. Like from falling? Wait a second, he's changing it. So the the half of the clue. Captain Cray just logged on, he's also uh, oh uh, yeah. The sky ain't my limit. Wait, what? You step on me and then the, something in the sky. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> this all made it more complicated. What? The heck? Like there is nothing in the sky, right? But you are stepping on it. I'm gonna follow him. Or is he? No, okay. Uh, yeah, I literally have no idea. Like, I'm stepping on it like grass, but then sky is m ain't my limit. Like, I have no idea. I, I think I know it. Sky ain't my limit. Like the end, and well, it is a a more uh, a more um, a, a good place because it is a special place. Uh, oh, he found it, and like the sky is. Yeah, there is a lot of sky in the end. 
and yeah, you can don't come there like every day. Hmm, that might be a good one. Oh, is it here? I think it isn't. Nope. Ah. Uh, I know where it is, I think. Not the end, but the sky is really high, so like stairway to heaven from the shopping district. I think it's over there. Uh yeah, I, I think it's over there. That has to be it. Stairway to heaven, let's go. Okay. Go up all the way and I think there's a... Oh, there is something over there. Yeah, yeah, sign. Come here tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is it. Oh, I found the first clue. Okay, uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m. GMT for a next clue. So now let's go back to okay uh, to the villager system. Um, and by the way, there is a 50 sub special coming really soon. Um, I am really appreciating your help and your um, yeah, especially help. Um, because, well, I hit the 50 subs uh, a few moments ago, for me at least, so uh, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so now let's buy some infinity books, like, well, we can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and let's put it in here. Oh. Uh, and protection 4 is of course a really good book 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Okay, so now we have a lot of books. Uh, we can put the emeralds, of course, back in here and make some more blocks from it. And then I think I am ready to put the books over here and to put all of the uh, books in the shop i think yeah we we do need some some arrows like 10 to to name them um so the customers know how many they cost one two three uh yeah that's okay so let's go to the shopping uh, mall now okay so I am now in the shopping mall 
sharpness 5 or we can do this that looks better for let's say 5 diamonds because it's really good okay that's the first book and now put all of the sharpness the, that one that one that one that one and that one and do I have uh, any more in here yes I do but I think that's all okay and then we do now have looting also pretty good but not as good so I'm gonna do three diamonds uh, looting uh, three uh, for three diamonds like that uh, looting 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 and do I have more in here I don't think I do no uh, okay and now we got fortune uh, also pretty good uh, I think the same price as the looting so for fortune three three diamonds I now did a few and I decided to do it with the books and not with these uh, emeralds but to have the emeralds in here so sharpness 5 looting and yeah uh, the prices are all in here I still need to change this uh, and I do still have a lot of books in here because I need more item frames but yeah that's gonna do it for a next episode I hope you all enjoyed uh, please leave a like if you didn't already and uh, I catch you in the next episode see ya